In this five minute demo, I'm going to take you through all of the tools on Connects and everything you need to know in order to do a professional takeoff and submit an award winning quote. Once you upload your plans to Connects, we will automatically read the size of the page. All you need to do is make sure that your page scale is set appropriately. Once it is, the plans will be calibrated and you'll be able to get measuring. To zoom in and zoom out, you want to use the plus and minus in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Then the best practice is to get familiar with the plans. This way you can add your groups ahead of time so as you're set up for the whole project. Click the green new group button, give your group a name, give it a color and add group. If this is something you're going to measure every time you upload a project, you can add your group to favorites and it will be associated with your account. Once you're finished, you'll see all of the groups in the drop down menu. We're going to start with the length tool and measure the walls for this project. Select the tool, select your group, click to start, click to drop a marker and change direction and double click to finish. You will then see the totals appear in the measurements drawer on the right hand side. By clicking the folder, you will be able to see all of the shapes that make up that group and if you've made a mistake, delete from here. We're going to get the area of the ceiling now. To do this, we're going to use our polygon tool. It works much the same as the length tool. Click to start, click a point to change direction and double click to finish. Once you finish, you will close the loop and you will get the area of that shape. You can also get an area measurement by using the rectangle. Simply click, drag and drop and it will give you the area of that symmetrical shape. The count function does exactly what it says in the tin. You can create a group, in this case power outlets, give it a color. What's different here is you can choose an icon with which to represent it on the canvas and then you can simply go around the canvas clicking where you see your power outlets or fans or GPOs, whatever the case may be. Next, we're going to run through the deductions tool. This can be handy for taking windows and doors out of a cladding takeoff or whatever the case may be. Select the tool deductions, click, drag and drop, and that will be taken away from the overall area total. By checking the box beside any group or shape, you'll be given the option to find the perimeter of any area, duplicate that measurement, or delete it. You can find those options at the bottom of the measurements drawer. By checking the box in the center, you can add additional parameters. By adding a height to a lineal measurement, you'll be able to get the total square meters of walls. If you wanted to do a concrete slab, you can add in a depth of 0.15 for 150 mil, and you'll get your total volume of concrete. You can also add a pitch to a roof here as well. Once you've done your takeoff and the page is getting a bit cluttered, you can clone the page by hitting the buttons at the bottom right of that window. This will give you a completely fresh PDF with which to do a separate takeoff, for example, your carpentry fit out. Once you're happy you have your takeoff complete, you can hit review and quote in the top right hand corner. This will take you to your quote review page where you can review things. By combining groups, you will get a project total for everything that you've done across multiple pages or multiple sets of plans. Here is where you can input things like your inclusions, exclusions, customer information, expiry dates, etc. If you've already assigned dollar values to your favorites, the quote will have pre-populated. If not, you can manually input your unit price here. At the bottom of the quote, what you can do is add in things that you wouldn't have measured on the canvas, such as machine hire, labor, whatever it is that the job requires. What you can do as well is check the blue boxes. This will take anything that's in those columns off the final quote. By adding in a margin, you will add in a percentage to the overall totals. This is just for you to see and it's just for you to make a bit of money on the job. Input your tax, check over your payment terms and conditions and hit preview and send. This will give you a look at what the finished quote will look like and what the contractor will receive. When you're happy with that, hit send, input the contractor's details and they will receive a professional quote in their inbox straight away.